course, with the snow and the ice comes the salt to make sure that we don't slip and fall. Uh, Minnesota Pollution Control Agency survey found 60% of us don't know how much salt to use on our sidewalks. So how do we balance our safety with taking care of our water? How much salt should we use? Good question. Heather Brown found it is a lot less than you probably think. We're not saying that we shouldn't be using salt, mm -hmm. but we all are overusing it. Every year, Minnesota uses more than 400,000 tons of salt. In greater Minnesota, most of the salt comes from water softening and fertilizers. And in the metro area, a lot of the salt comes from the roads. Angela Bordas of the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency helps track it. The cities use the most, followed by MnDOT, counties, companies, and us on our sidewalks, decks, and driveways. All it takes is one teaspoon of salt to pollute five gallons of water. And that's why the MPCA is conducting these smart salt trainings. Anybody buying a bag of super melt or Arctic melt? Or For public. And who are you with? The city of Chaska. And private entities. I own Franklin Outdoor Services. I think there is this perception for it. If it's not white on the black top, feel the crunch underneath your feet, then you're not doing your job. And I think that's kind of a misconception. They're right. Crunch oh, is bad. Crunch is bad. I feel like that's a main message. Bordas gave us tips for our homes. Number one, you're using too much salt if you see any salt remnants after the ice melts. You literally are not safer by having more. It's just excess mm. stuff. Number two, always use the shovel first. So that it gets down as, as close to the pavement as possible. Number three, Use a 12 ounce cup over a big scooper. Just this cup should get you 10 sidewalk squares? Yep. Or a, they, they say 20 foot driveway. I mean, it's literally like a salt shaker. You just, this doesn't seem like much. No, it doesn't. It should be one grain of salt for every three inches. I'm doing about that. And number four, just sprinkle a path. And if you just have a line in the middle, it'll naturally move out. That's one way to think of it, too, is only use about half as much as you used last year, and you'll make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. We'll sweep up all this salt when yeah, we're done well. spreading it. In Jordan. I, I brought my broom. Yeah. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. And with the cold weather coming next week, it is important to remind people salt is temperature sensitive. You should check the bag. Some of them just stop working below 15 to 20 degrees, so the MPCA says just don't use it when it's that cold. If you have a good question for Heather, just go to email it through WCCO.com slash links. I know you say that a lot about the road salt, but the yeah. temperature factor. Yeah, we talk about it with the MnDOT trucks. When it's warm, it's it, it's very happy. It mm -hmm. works very well, but when it gets cold, it just sits there on top of it, so it's not really helping at all.